banana na na na. Should really be the way we do it. Whoa, that's scary. Oh no, oh no, these aren't even gonna get hit. Oh, I'm gonna do some damage, but no one cares. Get this stuff out of here. <laughs> Plank walker. Oh yeah, <gasps> frenzy guard. Oh, that is crazy. That is insane. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm going to show you probably one of the most fun budget decks uh, that I've ever done. This is going to be the Budget Brainstorm Blob Bad Moon Rising Hybrid deck. That's a lot of bees. I know. Uh, the idea of this deck is either to swarm your deck with minions, draw plenty of cards so you don't run out of those minions. Uh, summoning and Dance Off also do give you uh, little guys, uh, besides for the card draw, which is the other two. And then play this big card over here, the Bad Moon Rising. Uh, this will transform all of them into big guys, and you can just take over the game because your whole field's going to be big guys. Other way to win is, um, is with the Blob. So you put Nebula on the field. Uh, you uh, put brain vendors into it, you make a lot of brains, and then the blob, uh, the blab, the zam blob, every single brain you got that turn when you evolve this from something, it'll be huge. Uh, you play this and use, let's say, bonus attacks to, uh, you know, kind of do extra damage, break past whatever they stick in front of it, and break through. Uh, if you This, I think, is going to be really, really good. Only for the party is not only good as a little card to turn into a big guy, with the um, with the bad moon rising, uh, but it also benefits very well from all the, like the free minions you're playing. This gets one one every time you play a zombie, especially the egg uh, that basically counts as two zombies. Uh, when it comes to unlife of the party, there's definitely some synergy there. Egg is also really good in the in the in the nebula. Uh, the nebula, of course, uh, will trigger twice if you put an egg once it hatches. Uh, it'll turn to another guy and trigger this plus three brains again. Uh, this should be pretty good. The rest of it is just card draw. Now, um, I'm not running any legendaries or super rares in this deck. Uh, if you guys have any teleports or teleportation zombies, those would be useful. Uh, as well as Leprechaun Imp would probably be pretty good. And um, other cards you can add uh, to this deck is like Rocket Science just for some removal. I'm not really running any hard removal, so we're really going to have to try to get into a race with our opponents and just try to get the Blob or the Bad Moon Rising as soon as possible because if they play something big, uh, currently not running anyway, there's no real budget way for Brainstorm to deal with it, that's why I didn't add anything. Uh, anyway, regifting, if you don't have these, again, you can just add in different small cards, cards that draw cards like Kite Flyer and more Cell Phone Zombies, that's why we're running uh, these cards. Really, all the rest of the cards are just to draw so you can get your big Blob combos or the, the necessary ingredients you need in order to set up that early Bad Moon Rising. Anyway, here it is. Hope you enjoy. Well, let's just get right into it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to the good old Professor Brainstorm? I, that's still viable, actually. We could do that. Uh, would it be good in today's meta? It probably would be. Professor Brainstorm. You guys can go and check that out. That actually is on YouTube. I think it's a little bit last season, but the deck list is basically the same. You can make small adjustments, and uh, that was really budget. That was like, there weren't any event cards in that deck either. Professor Brainstorm. You can look it up. Just type on the YouTube. Prime up. Prime up budget, or it's in the budget playlist, or just brain Brainstorm. I have a really old version. That's not viable anymore. All right. I'm late for the pot, eh? Ooh, that's a combo. One, two, three. I think I'll take it. Telepathy. So let's either do Plumber or Telepathy on one. Uh, we're going to try to do this combo. You know, there's... It's... Let's see telepathy. It's very likely the unlifes of the party are gonna get so big in this deck. Um, see what happens. Oh, I know the way. What is the way? Do you know the way? Okay, so now I'm considering, I'm considering perhaps just going for card draw since we do see blob. Uh, nah. Let's do the strong play. So again, this Unlife of the Party is going to get bumped twice by this egg. I've actually never used this combo before. This is a pretty cool combo. This egg could turn into something really OP for a one-drop, too. Worst case scenario, just turns into a little one. <laughs> I just peach her just down. I, I stopped at length because I really want both these to survive. And, and it's rats. It's a 2-1. One. I could have put it here. But now this, unlike the party, especially if we get another little guy here. Call me on my cell phone. Think we'll do this right now. So again, this is a 4-4 on turn 3. Just amazing. 
Should maybe get these nebulas going. We have a plumber. Just in case he does like repeater or something like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Podfather! Nice try! That's why we're running Bungie Plumber. Just for little key cards like Podfather and Admiral Navy. Man. We are doing amazing! This is actually how Professor Brain Swarm is usually played. You just go with your unlifes of the party and buff those up, but don't get the unlife! Don't get the unlife! Get the Yes! Yes! Perfect! <laughs> it is perfect! Wow, we could get a Bad Moon Rising next turn already. I'm gonna go with... Ne Man, we could buff this up, though. Decisions! I don't know, is he gonna be able to deal with this? You know what, if he does, we have the big Nebula play. Well, we'll have five next turn. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's go for the Bad Moon Rising. It'll win us again. Plus, he very likely doesn't have a good way of dealing four damage right now. More eggs. I could have gone with eggs. No. Ah. Ah. Oh. Alright, here we go. Th this is definitely a risky play, but we're gonna go for the Bad Moon Rising already. I think. That's a 6-6. Six, six. We could just do... If we had a bonus attack, it would make this a little easier. Alright, well, if this egg hatches, we have Bad Moon Rising. Huh? 6-6, six, six, Bad Moon Rising. This will be a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's not even good to Bad Moon Rising, this one. <laughs> no one cares. That's actually a 7-7. Seven, seven. What does this turn into? Ho ho ho! I'm talking about. Let's freeze this one. Wow. Get frozen. Get frozen and get chosen. I'm gonna go for Bad Moon Rising here. Even though this is a 7-7. Seven, seven, it's not necessarily gonna kill this. Ugh. Or we could just go for double Nebula. Nah, let's do it. Come on. Give me something good. We can Nebula actually still. Yes! Wow! Kitchen Sink! Breaking it through! Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> that was really good. So we have, um, is that lethal? Uh, yeah, it's lethal. Got him! Eight damage plus five. <laughs> Yo, Dad! And that'll kill that. And again, it breaks through again. Frenzy! And yo, Dad! <laughs> Nailed him! Wanna know? I can't believe that's a budget deck. Whoa! We had a couple of different plays there, too. The unlife of the party is really, really good here. Unlife with egg. I love it. Nailed it. <laughs> we got a couple of frenzy cards. It helps when you when you bad moon rising into frenzy cards, so then you just win. Uh, what's going on, Crazy? Alright. You guys notice the fancy new jar. It's so beautiful. Thank you guys who are filling it up. Is Fireweed a good con in control nightcap? Oh yeah. One of the best control cards. It can it can deal with like five health minions. Amazing for two. You're free to play and you have all this. Therefore, it is budget. All right. Again, it's not super budget. Budget for me means you've been playing this game for a good five months. You've been grinding all your event cards. You've been you've been getting all doing all your gem quests. The person who drops into the game the first day, they're not gonna be able to make this deck. I don't. I don't really make decks like that. I could make some really beginner decks, but. I don't, there's no way for me to really test them since they're not going to work if you're rank 50. They'll work if you're rank 1. You can kind of do whatever you want when you're rank 1. It's not that hard. Looks like we're going to go for the Blobway. Do you know the Blobway? Uh, when will I do a collab stream with someone? When there's a good opportunity. I haven't really, you know, I, there haven't been other streamers that are doing it constantly. It's when you have a people who are doing this consistently, day in and day out, they're streaming every single day, and I'll collab. I have a feeling the next collab stream I'm gonna do is gonna end up being Gwen. We got Trickster just now from Eureka. We don't have that many tricks, and we have no tricks in this deck. Bungie Plumber, we got Mini Ninja, and we got... Da, 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 no one da, cares. That's what we got. So we're gonna be up to 10 cards here. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, there's our Plumber. 
Uh, just could use nebulas now. What the heck is that? Uh -huh. Yikes on bikes. Yikes on freaking bikes. Heck, do I do here? Bubba. Yikes on freaking bikes. I literally had no idea what to do here. Let's just go for a, a, a blob play. Three. No. This is so weird, but I think that's the play. Brain vendor plumber. Oh, brain vendor plumber doesn't work because then the brain vendor dies. We're gonna do this and then plumber this one next turn. How did you like Mario Odyssey? Oh yeah, that's fun. No! Bad paracov. Oh no, we're getting wrecked here. Good spit out splash deck. I don't have any of our nebulas. Really, the deck of life nebulas pretty heavily. Seven, ten. Plumber. Guess so, it's 11 damage. No! Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Really? Uh, guess we plumber this one. Ooh, we splash damage. What was this? A reincarnate? What the heck was this, by the way? How does this end up being a 5-1? I'm confused. Okay, I take 5 more now. Oh no, we're not gonna win this game. Things are not going well, you guys. Ooh, plumber. One, two, three, four. Anyway, hey, it's doable. It's doable, you guys. Da da da! Da! Die! Uh oh. Dickweed! We have to do this one now. This is two damage to our face. Boom! Okay, we still have one health, you guys. We're doing just fine. Died anyway. This is doable. Your your mom's doable. <laughs> he needs one damage. It's not going well. Um. This technically kills that, but it means he has to have zero damage in his hand. Or we could clog the field and try to get a lucky plumber. Two, three, four. Five, six. All right, this is that's good. We gotta get exactly a plumber and a one drop. Oh no, what doesn't die here? Uh, he might not do it. You never know what's gonna happen here. Oh no, I should have done that and got sumo. Dang, I forgot. I could have played the other egg and had a chance at sumo. Oh no, no, no. no I would have died. Okay, GG. <laughs> Oh well, one and one. We got a little bit rushed down there. Good old aggro deck. It's not really aggressive. Eh, it's kind of aggressive. One with all these, and then he did the pair cup. Pretty good. Yes, the new big cup is real. It's a martini glass, kind of. Very blood. All right, hand of devastation for Smarty. That's how it goes. The trickster was useless. Bad Eureka. Come on, man. Really, the main problem is we didn't get Eureka. 
<laughs> one and nine prediction. You guys are so pessimistic. I'm guessing we're gonna go um, about 80% with this, which is good. Hybrid means you're combining two different strategies together. I'm gonna keep these because we have a 50% chance of getting dancers or, or summoning, which will be amazing. Oh yeah. Why are there party zombies in this deck? <laughs> there are a lot of party zombies. Here's a couple. Party synergy. That's what I'm talking about. It's called the brainstorm party deck. Don't ask. We're still gonna stop the time here. We're gonna nebula. Could really use an egg. Ooh, just more little cards would be good. I didn't realize you can do unlikes into Nebula and get it going. We could go with the unlike play now. Nah, let's go with Nebula. Plain environment. Plain environment. The heck is this? Really? Da da ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da ba da 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 da. So now we're playing everything here. Ooh, Bungie. One. Wait, you want the regifter to go there, actually. Oh, we can. Okay, that's how it's done. Oh, the order is a little weird here. You want the regifter to go here, because then it dies, which is good. Summoning's still a thing. Let's see what we get. I think it's summoning plumber. Squirrel herder from summoning, that'll be good. Come on, squirrel. We're gonna plumber that. No, bad. Very bad. Okay, well, at least our guys survive. That's harsh. Okay, well, we need these to survive here. At least the one. Squirrel! Teleportation zombie! What? In a blob deck, we just got teleportation zombie. That's nice. All right. Looks like we have a good um, blob play, perhaps, next turn. Have -na 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 -na. We just need a bonus attack or something. We can we actually have Bad Moon Rising here. Huh. We actually have Bad Moon Razan. Yes we do. That's how we're doing it. Bad Moon Rising time. Teleportation zombie. Doesn't even matter. Uh, I beat today's daily challenge, just gotta get Podfathers. They're pretty good. Mulligan for them, like the people say. Banana, na, na, na. <laughs> it should really be the way we do that. Whoa, that's scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. These aren't even going to get hit. Oh, mm -hmm. It's going to do some damage, but no one cares. Get this stuff out of here. <laughs> Plank Walker. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Frenzy Garg. Oh, that is crazy. That is insane. And we got Gonzalo. Hold on. Where do we move in? So we're moving. Um... That there. So we get we get to plumber something. Now this doesn't matter. If we plumber well this dies. The plumber doesn't actually matter here. Nope. Now we're good. 
<laughs> what a bad moon rising. What a bad moon rising. Go. Go. Boom. Boom. Doesn't matter. Oh no, I should have made this earlier. Ah, I should have made this earlier. Dang, if this kills us here. No, it's not gonna kill us. I should have made this a lot. I should have put the 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 mirror nut in lane one. That that would have been that would have been the, the right play. Put it in lane one behind the other one. Then it would have died immediately and would have done all this. It's doing so much damage to us here. Uh, we're gonna win though. Mog? Oh, Mog, I guess could save him. Yes, didn't have it. <laughs> it was just rock wall or whatever root wall. Nailed it. Good one. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, I'll write it down, that's a highlight. Pretty good Bad Moon Rising. Um, game three. Good Bad Moon Rising, if you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Get that weak stuff, get those weak nuts out of here. What a nine dream is dead, sorry guys. It was actually good. <laughs> What a bad moon rising. <laughs> you guys all want this deck to go one and nine. All you pay to win players, you pay to win hate ass. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> We're just keeping Nebula, Brain Vendor, Brain Vendor, Bad Moon Rising. That's our starting hand. We need some control right now. We need some car. There you go. Oh, another nebula. That's nice. Two and eight is the new dream. Nice that we got a bungee plumber there. Okay, we have all nebulas and just bad moon rising. I wonder how many nebulas we're gonna go for. Be nice to really get some cards. Ah. What do we get rid of here? Seriously? <laughs> Captain Quick Win kicking in. Second plumber would have been cool. Could really use some control right now. Could use some control right now. There's a plumber. All right, if we need to plumber, we will. If not, we'll nebula. The best strat right now is probably just to get into a race. And the plumber does very little, unfortunately. We go for Bad Moon Rising already. <laughs> Gimme guys. Well, let's just do it. I could put this in four, actually. Ooh, it's a cone head. Pretty good. Bad Moon Rising already. Let's do this. Let's do this. And thank you, Nex. Fry, that agro electric boogaloo deck is a maze balls. Thank you so much, <laughs> maze balls. Thank you so much. I really got the idea from Outdated Cafe, but thank you so much, Nex. I really, really appreciate it. That is so generous. Hasn't really been that many do donations in a while, so really, really appreciate your generosity. Captain Quick win, yeah. But we're, we're gonna get way ahead here. And we have Bungie Plumber. Give me something good! It's a wizard, Harry! Okay, so this survives. This moves here. Oh, we have the Nebula open for next turn. That's nice. No, I wanted a Bungie Plumber one of these. Too bad, surprise guard. But we have a huge field now. And Cat, he's not gonna have any good way of dealing with this. Um, these are all Bullseye. He can't play tricks easily. We have Plumber. Oh, my fellow party. Let's do this, draw some cards. Yo, Wizard Harry! Too bad, I wanted to do at least a little damage. He's still at 20, we're at 7. This plumber might help. It's gonna be hard for him to break through. Again, Berry Blast right now costs 4. That didn't help. Uh, so we're doing again, 11-12, draw a card. Amazing, Bullseye. All bulls like except the kite flyer here. Uh, set up the nebula just so we'll get extra brains next turn. What's in the box? Blob. Oh yeah. Very nice. Perfect actually. Blob is one of the best things that could have gone there. Is two damage better? Uh, I think card draw is still better. It just adds another huge threat to the field. Huge threat. Oh, you guys. Oh, you're meant. I'm gonna go two and two because of this one. <laughs> Thank you guys. All counted me out already. He had a really good run in the beginning, but we had a, a very a really nice starting hand. 
And he's gonna control Blob Prong. There's no point in doing these environments. Zero point. So we're doing six damage to his face. Blob controller. Technically putting that here would have been better. Oh yeah, the egg. The egg is real. Bonus attack. We haven't really seen bonus attacks yet. We could go for another Bad Moon Rising. I probably will just for funsies. Got all four nebulas now. Definitely helps. Alright, funsy time. Anything but mixed up Grave Digger. Let's go. Got a 2-3 from eggs. Our eggs have been doing well. I think eggs are a lot better than it appears. Go! Give me something good. Give me some... Oh, hey, strike through. Undying Pharaoh, Trickster. This actually, this is one of the best things we can get. It's a deadly strike through minion that'll just kill him here. Oh no, Meteor. And then... Meteor time to shine wins on the other side right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, did he play? Oh, he played time to shine already, though. Man, he should have kept that time to shine. Dude. See you later. Three and one. This is a fun budget deck. I like fun budget decks. Plumber to face. Yeah, I probably would have. Oh, did I just hit Taco League? Oh, I just hit Taco League. Cool! Taco League is real. Look at those gems go up. Money, money, money. I have enough gems probably already for set four, so... I have 7,000. That's, uh... 7,000 is 77 packs. I'm gonna be open seven, 77 packs with my gems come set four. What do you think about Gloom Shroom? Uh, it's okay. I haven't found the great uses for it. Maybe I can make a ramp Gloom Shroom deck. It's not bad, actually. I'm gonna write that down. Oh no, it needs mushrooms though. The mushroom evolution makes it really circumstantial. Here's our bonus attack. Definitely not the right time. That's nice. It's night cap, so we'll keep this. Let's see what we get. Telepathy, yes. We just need cards. Really just need a nebula, so. Telepathy is probably the best power there. Ah, uh, we have yes, got it. <laughs> Nailed it! So, sticking this on the field right now will actually set up the turn for Baboon Rising, which is really good. It'd be nice to plumber this turn, but eh. Call me on my cell phone. That's alright. That's a whole minion for Baboon Rising, so that is a little bit sad. Maybe we should go for the turn four one, I think. Two, eh, it's just a two minion Baboon Rising. Unless this procs are block amazingly. Ooh, that changes a lot. That makes it that we can actually do get another minion in there. We can actually get a four minion Bad Moon Rising now. I think, right? So we'll have four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can get a four moon Bad Moon Rising now. Oh, it's rather curl. Um I'm just trying to think, you can't do bonus attacks. I'm wondering if the nebula should be facing this or not. Oh, uh, we'll play around. You know what we can play around? I'm gonna play around Fireweed. It's good it's here so we can't put a Fireweed and cover this lane before the egg hatch. The egg is gonna go in this next turn. We're gonna get a four minion Baboon Rising plus Plumber, actually. We could go for... Blob instead, though, now. Hold on. So this is, we made four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, nah, let's go for BMR. I think so. If we don't pull off the Bad Moon Rising right now, we lose. There's a lot of stuff that could go wrong here, including sour freaking grapes. This brings us to 4, 5, 6, 7. Including him getting rid of this card. There's a lot that could go wrong here. The, the blob was definitely the safer play. That just happens, unfortunately. Yeah, 
And that happened. He had both answers. Do you know what? We have a setup for Batman Rising eventually, now though. Because we kept all three minions, other three minions on the board. Huge risk. I should have gone Blob. The Blob would have done about 15 damage that turn. Yeah, I should have gone Blob. I, I made the wrong play. I made the wrong play. Blob was better. I just wanted to go for... I was really going for the funsies. I wanted to just YOLO it in Bad Moon Rising. Eh, whatever. But wow, that's a good one to get from uh, <laughs> the Shroom. Drawing a card. I'm just going to chump block this. Not really playing any tricks until Bad Moon Rising. Okay. Uh, I tried playing Clash Royale, and I honestly, I didn't like it. Gwent, on the other hand. Interesting. This and Nebula is the play, actually. Ho, ho, ho. Let's see if we get some small cards. Where are my unlifes and stuff? There you go. I'm going to play this next turn, I believe. Aggro Chompzilla. Strike through Chompzilla is very similar to Aggro Chompzilla, so uh, you can look that up on YouTube. I have the budget. That's a budget deck, actually. Uh-oh. All right. Bad Moon Rising now or nothing. No! Oh, that happened? Dang. He just cleared our fuels completely. At least we're drawing cards here. We are not in good shape, you guys. We are not in good shape, you guys. This doesn't even work. This is going to mill us. Is it worth it? It is. We need as many possibilities right here, right now. Oops! No! Oops, I just lost the game! I forgot! I forgot about Sporticus! No! Oh, that was just a brain fart by me. I totally brain farted Sporticus there. Totally forgot about it. Come on, man. Totally forgot about the Sporticus. Punished is right. Oof! That was bad. Man, we, we could have had that one too. If I would have gone... I made two mistakes there. I should have gone Blob early. And I should not have played that Eureka. Come on, man. Ah. Uh, anyway. Three and seven. You guys still rooting for three and seven? And the block meter didn't really behave on that last play. We actually... Should have blocked there. Uh, wrong play, Fry. Just wasn't paying attention. They give you so little time to decide whether or not to play it, but maybe I should have had that prepared before. I don't know. This looks like a pretty good hand against Wallite, unless it's aggro Wallite. Today's daily, really? I, I got it on my first try, but apparently got lucky. Some people seem to be struggling with it. Eureka! I lost because I played a trick and Sporticus was on the field and Sporticus's passive ability is whenever your opponent plays a trick, do two damage to the face. That's how that went. Nice turn two play. We could go Regifter though. I think Regifter's actually better. Getting an egg would be really good here. Yum, yum, yum. Yes. Yes. Budget blob decks are hard to play. Um, especially this deck. You don't really have any bungee plumbers. You don't really have any hard removal. That's the problem. Okay, they're just controlling us a little bit. I'll take Otis from an inch. Gonna be Nebula this turn. Blob. We don't have any removal. I think this deck really could use some more removal. I was gonna run Exploding Fruitcake, then I realized that's pay to win. That happened. What's going on, Maxi? So, the play is. This will give us five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 
and a triple bad moon. Not in the water lane. So make him worry about this unlife of the party that he's probably not going to try to just go after this lane. Which is pretty good. Rocket Science and Chickening. Rocket Science is not budget, though. Team Up Evolution? Glow Shroom? Oh, Grow Shroom. Anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, Pebble Rising is in order. Cardboard zombie, say it isn't so. Have been rising number one. What's in the box? King of the grill draws us cards. I'll take it. And this heals them. We got two gargs. A king of the grill will draw cards and gargleth. And they're, it's going to trigger the nebula again. That is amazing. It's every guard kills something. We're going to get these cards. Look, we're going to get all these cards here. We're actually going to get... Are we getting milled right now? We're getting milled. Just because every single time a garg kills a guy, we draw something. Yeah, we're milled. Oh, we got coffee zombie. That's not actually, it's useless here because they're all going to be in gravestones. So look, they're all going to heal. Okay, we got another king of the grill. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Oh, uh, okay. What the heck just happened? I have no idea what just happened. That was crazy. We're actually going to be able to play some... Yeah, he just concedes. Okay. <laughs> That's called some Bad Moon Rising Synergy right there. Bad Moon Rising Synergy. Yes. You think that Gargs should be buffed? Oh, yeah. Gargs. <laughs> the way to get Gargs is not to play Gargs in your deck. The way is just to play Bad Moon Rising. That's, that's how it's done. Oh, am I going to upgrade this deck to more power? Um, I could by adding some teleports. I forgot. I don't think this deck really needs any upgrades, though. That is crazy. kind of like the deck list. just needs teleports. What would I put teleports in for? For uh, kite flyers and stuff. Rocket sets. King of the Grill. Bom. Oh yeah. If this gets zapped, it'll get zapped regardless. I'd love to actually draw out some of his removal right now with this guy. Some people are so impatient when I don't notice their message right away. There's 200 people here. What's going on, Yuval? Guess you got my attention. I could go with. I think this is the play. Swing and a miss. Get this freaking Astro Shroom. Get him! Yes. Amazing. This isn't a bad play already. This will be a 5-5. Five five. We could try to get lucky and do this. This is such a weird way of playing this deck, but this is what we're doing. Strange way of playing this deck. Look at this board. This is turn three, you guys. This is turn three. Hello, turn three. He doesn't have any way of deal dealing with these on turn three. He's just going to chump lock them. Get a huge card disadvantage. Why 
Blade and the cheese. Bonus attacks would be nice right now. Do we, are we still setting up a Baboon Rising? Probably not. It's just as a 7-7 seven, seven now. Amazing. It's unlike the party getting stronger and stronger every turn. You can't ignore this blob either. Bonus attack. That's what we're looking for. Bonus attack is going to win us the game. We're running four. Cell phone become a 2-2. Two, two. You know it would be a little too strong. It's not bad at a, as a 1-1. One, one. Cards that draw you a card in your deck are so good. It could be a 2-1. It would be a good card at 2-1, actually. How, what is this? Fry him up. How genius are you that you actually called your channel Fry him up when your name is a fry? -up? Anyway. That was just something I thought of one day. This is amazing. This is actually going to be at, at uh, 11. Yeah, this Unlike the Party is going to be at 11 when these eggs hatch. Bonus attack should win the game here. Look at this play. Unlike for the Party taking over the party. That happened. He needs two team up shrooms there. He needs them both to go to lane one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Sadness. Don't even need the bonus attack now. Oh, it's a ghost. Pretty good. Great pickup, too. And not sumo. Teleportation zombie. <laughs> Look what we're getting from these eggs. Absolutely freaking amazing. The lack of, but one of them, if both of them would have gone, he would have been saved there. One of them's not enough. Man, look at this deck go. A life of the party with eggs might be a top tier strat. Uh, should we just make an unlife of the party? Let's make a think of a swarm deck. Crazy. You know, this doesn't have to be with, with brainstorm. You can do this with any crazy hero. Okay. Let's think here. Brainstorm is a good candidate. Boogaloo could work too. Professor Brainstorm. I guess where you draw cards is always nice, so Brainstorm's for it again. We can do this deck. I'm maybe gonna just gonna do a Professor Brainstorm deck. You're gonna need a way to win, though. Way to win. Maybe I'll do it with Z-Mech and just run going viral. A budget Z-Mech deck. Uh huh? Watch the Z-Mech, you can just do with sports. The Guardian class is, the, the Hardy class, I mean, is easy just because you can just run sports decks with going viral. They're pretty good. <laughs> energy Drink Zombie. Maybe I should bring in Energy Drink Zombie. Oh, I should do a budget sports deck with Energy Drink. Oh. So. So. Who's the worst hero? I don't really like Beta Caratina. Not a fan. I like this. See what happens. Let's pass. Looking for Nebula. Looking for Nebula. Why do I play this on Heights here? It just gives us more options of where to put Nebula and to stick minions in it. We did get Nebula there. Um, if we get, we need a bonus attack or something, or a plumber, just some way to get past that. We're probably gonna go for Bad Moon Rising since we don't have a um, any kind of like bungee plumber or bonus attack. We really need a bonus attack for this blob. If we get a blob, a bonus attack here. Egg. The eggs are real. Bad Moon Rising on turn four looks pretty good. What about Infinity? I tried maybe Infinity Budget. It's hard because the there's not a lot of his cards. There's really no late game. There's no finisher in an Infinity Budget deck. I couldn't really figure out how to do a face deck, per se. So if this hatches, we're good.
In fact, if he removes this card and doesn't get rid of the Nebula, just kills the egg, we can Dancer his Bad Moon Rising, which we'll probably do here anyway. This is as good of a deal. <laughs> oh no, Cat Lady! No! Watch this be a pet anyway. Come on, man, really? I don't want to. Cancel ability. Doesn't really matter where. Harsh. Harsh. It's a bellflower. This is as good of a dancer as you get, so we'll do it. And the, the quadruple baboon rising. Disco Tron doesn't matter. Got Octo Zombie, Kitchen Sink, and Ra, Ra Zombie. So we got two of the best and then two of the absolute garbage worst. Uh, we're doing a lot of damage. This is 12 and 8. Yeah, that's lethal. That's guaranteed. <laughs> 6 and 2. Kitchen Sink Zombie is so freaking OP. This 8 damage bullseye. Ridiculous. And we got Raw Zombie just for BM. That was turn 4. That was turn 4. <laughs> hey, time to play. Guess what turn it is with Ramp Dex. The, the eggs are really, really really good with ramp to, to bad moon rising egg is egg is the best actual ramp sticking in a nebula ramp with it card because it nets you four extra brains even brain vendor only nets you an extra three absolutely amazing no it's five it nets you five brains there is no fours there's just threes amazing it triggers nebula twice yeah i know hello vanilla my old friend Greetings, Fry. What's going on, Pally? Everyone's like, no, six and four. The pessimists are having a really hard time with the stream today. Six and four. Six. Eight and two was my prediction. Are we going to have time for it? Yeah, we'll have time for two more games. Uh, do you think Egg will still work with Ramp if Nebula only gives you two extra brains still? Let's say you Nebula on three. So then you put an egg in on four, so you, you net four, you still net three brains. It's pretty harsh. It, it'll be doable, but it loses a lot. Only one because of Raza. Remember when Nebula cost two? I didn't know about ramp decks. I had no idea that you just draw cards, you ramp, and you Bad Moon Rise. I think that might have been before Bad Moon Rising too, but... When Nebula was 2, I never used that. I didn't think it was good. I couldn't imagine why it was being nerfed. That was my issue. <sighs> we'll hold on to that. Ba -dum, ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, let's hold on to a plumber. Got dancers. Ugh, not good. I think we have a cell phone zombie. I kind of like it now, actually. As long as it doesn't get Berry Blast, which it will, uh, the dancers will work. If he has some agenda to play right now, if he has a Juggernaut that he feels like playing this turn, the Sun Life of the Party is going to be amazing! Yes! And now this is probably going to die to one of these guys. Not a great play. Yes! Got him! Holy moly with this right now. Hmm... It's not easy. We gotta buff this immediately. Ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna use one of these right now. I'm gonna ride this guy. What do we want? I don't think we want to give him cards. Put another threat on the field? Three, three attack threat. Shamrocket? Let's not give him Shamrocket. <laughs> I conceded! Ha <laughs> ha! Couldn't deal with a 5-5 five, five on Life of the Party on turn 3. Man! I used to say you should never underestimate, underestimate Vanilla, but since then, I Vanilla is still a decent card, and if they ever make an arena in this game where you draft cards, Vanilla is going to be a very, very good card. Don't underestimate it. The problem is, uh, there's a few things that happened. First of all, they made two new cards called Cool Bean and Sporticus, which are better than Vanilla. Way better. Same stats, same class, better cards. They have much better, you know, they have abilities. Put it that way. Um, <laughs> now everyone's like, 7 and 3. 
Uh, is this going to go on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Even if we go 7-3, this is fine. Uh, one of those games were winnable, too. Still bummed about that. Draft would be amazing. I would love... That would also make a free-to-play free to free to way, as long as you don't have to pay too much for, the, for entering the draft. That would be a free-to-play version of this game, which maybe they don't want to make it free-to-play. It's possible. I really hope they do that. This is alright. Do we keep Plumber against Wall Knight? Yeah, let's get that one control card while we do our thing thing. Nebula is probably the best the best thing here. Uh, the other reason why Vanilla is not as good is because Vanilla it was good at dealing with the two threes the zombie played on turn two. There's not that many two threes on turn two on the zombie side anymore. There's just it's just like sumo or something, but there's a lot of regifting zombies. What do zombies even play on turn two? Turn two is like a pass turn for zombies nowadays. Or they'll just play in an environment. Environments did make it worse because a lot of people are environmenting on two. Anyway. We did start off with telepathy, that's good. Still don't really see much potential in the Bad Moon Rising department. I'm gonna need some eggs. If we get a couple eggs here, egg and a brain vendor. The Nebula. We can go for the multiple Nebula Bad Moon Rising play. Might be how we're going to have to do this. What do you think is the best deck? Um, ooh, that hurts. I'm going to have to plumber this, I think. Ooh, that's ramping. Oh, we're, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Man, these Nebulas. Havana, na, na, na. Let's see this in Plumber, and we'll start setting up the Nebulas next turn. We'll get some cards in the meantime. Yum, 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 yum. I'm like uh, the parties. That'll be fun. Well. If this is all he plays, he got no value from this card. Ramp versus ramp. We have to get Nebula next turn, though. Must. Wow, we. Uh, we got. We gotta get rid of this ramp. I know this. This. This cos cosmic. This cosmos is gonna be a little harsh, but didn't play around Bungie Plumber. He just totally wasted that. That could have gone on the cosmos. That would have been a much better play. I don't know what he was playing around. He's playing around plumber. I could have plumbered that one. There's an egg. It's. I guess we can guy Nebula now. We're gonna want this to go in the thing. We're, we're gonna do this actually. Interesting. Turn to cosmic scientist for Brainy. Sorry, shooting in the chat. You just started using Rust Bolt Science. Any suggestions? Um, use, you know, try to utilize your drone engineers as well as you can. Uh, this doesn't really matter which line it goes in, right? Does the egg want to want to look at the? Does the egg want to see this more? Ah, uh, no, you want dry. Advice for new players, just try to try to make the strongest deck with the best stats possible and try to rank up, get your gems, and buy regular packs. That's how you can get out of the early game rut of this game. Now this give, immediately gives us 8. We could risk it, or we could just go for the straight Bad Moon Rising. And there's going to be some bonus attacks and stuff to be had. I think I'm going to go with this. Wait. No, we need it to hatch again or else we'll only get a single. Oh, never mind. So this gives us five more. We do have Bad Moon Rising here. Bad Moon Rising bonus attack at that. And this becomes a 4-4 when this hatches. So if he goes after the... He, I'm going to to kill the egg. Let's we'll see what happens here. If, if nothing goes wrong, we might have like a um, cob cannon or something here. Let's see what happens. Podfighter and Guy. No! 
Wow, so he went right after the egg. Harsh. Interesting how this is the play right now, I believe. Where did he get this from? He got this from his photosynthesizer. We don't have minions. See, the problem is we don't have now. We don't have minions. We needed the bad moon right there. Let's see if we get something. Call me on my cell phone. Definitely gets it done. So this actually does make. This is just gonna die though. The gravestone here actually would have been right. There's no way this is gonna work. Well, these will live. Five damage is five damage. Yeah, why not? Oh, no, it wouldn't have worked. Anyway. Bad Moon Rising on two minions. He's gonna... The, something's gonna trigger the pot, the, the pot fighter. Let's see what happens. We have too many nebulas. Uh, something with Bullseye in lane four wins. Wow, horrible, horrible bad moon. But you know what? There, there is some synergy here since we have the kite flyer next turn. That is actually pretty good. This doesn't matter. We could have grown this. Ooh! This survives. The kite flyer is going to clear this lane. I don't know if he has any big removal. Heal. Ouch. Another BMR would be good here. Got it. Might go with the Bad Moon Rising now. Great Buster. Nice. Wow, that hurts. No, we got nothing now. Ooh, we are messed up right now. We can't even draw the card and break through this turn. Fudgy, fudgy, fudgy! We need a regifting zombie. Uh, we're, we're gonna lose this game. I know we're growing this thing, but. No, no, we're probably just gonna lose. That Grave Buster was really clutch. Zombot or bust. What do we have to get rid of here? Any way we can draw cards? Just gotta go for a Zombot. Or Undying Pharaoh. Go in lane one. Let's go, Zombot! Zombot will win us this game. Not immediately, but... Dying Fair wouldn't be bad either. Let's go, Zombot! Not even close. Are we necessarily dead here? Yeah. Yeah, we are. All right, seven and three. It was doable. Anyway, guys, anticlimactic. Come on, man. Wow, wow, wow. We could have had the big bad moon rising and got it done. That pod, that pod fighter and the grave buster are really what messed this up. Come on, man. That's some fun. Anyway, guys, that was the Bad Moon Rising Blob Hyper Deck. It was good. Seven and three. Yeah, we could have done better. I, I consider this to be a really good and really, really, uh, budget deck. Maybe we'll do one more just so we don't end off on a loss. Come on. We gotta do one more. Gotta do one more. Which pack should you buy? I would say the premium ones, yeah. The cocky. <laughs> gotta end off with a win. We'll end off on a positive note, you guys. Very important. Never underestimate vanilla. Gwent or viewers after? We'll do some viewers. 
I'm not really ready to be streaming Gwent. I'm gonna make a tutorial and then just jump in and start streaming it. Seven and four? Don't be pessimistic, you guys. Why is this taking so long? Hello! Hello, game! It doesn't like budget Bad Moon Rising. It knows we're on game 11, so it's like, nah, uh, uh. Ten is the limit. Yeah. We could have had that nightcap game. Could be we could have even had that last game. They all done. Slightly different. Have we ever had any wins with this? Oh, yeah. There you go. New control. I'll turn on. I wonder if we play this. It's good to play with Bad Moon Rising. It actually is. It's actually very useful with Bad Moon Rising. I'll hold on to it for now. Havana una na. Half of my heart is in Havana. Say hello to Brazil. What's going on? Basil in Brazil. Bolsonaro? What does Bolsonaro mean? How does it matter without runes? Half of my heart is in Havana. Yeah, that's good. It does one damage, draws a couple of cards, and can plumber this next turn. Can you talk in Hebrew? Can! Ani bola aretz bi yom shlishi. Haba. Haba aleinu tova. Let's do this. We're drawing cards like no one's business. Mazak Tov. It's Mazal Tov. A nice try. Plumber first, then. Uh, wow. That's as close to nothing. Why is he matching these up? There must be some. Wow, we. Half of my heart is in Havana, Una, na. I can Nebula. We let this die. Headstone Carver. Very weird. <laughs> Got these brain vendors, though. patient and wait one more turn to do this play. We got two bonus attacks. I would like to use them both. Three bonus attacks now. I'm gonna nebula here. Ba -da 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 -da. Oof. Really weird, but we're gonna nebula here. Ooh, I don't want to get super though. Did he play a power yet? No, he hasn't. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that when anyone uses Google Translate from the word fry, it always turns into the word metagnim. He's not gonna be able to remove both of these, that's the key here. Doesn't matter. If he monster and tricks, it's not enough damage. So we still have three, two, and two. Double bonus attack should get it done here. Even if he teams up there. He played power? What did he play? Which power did he play? Freeze. Didn't play freeze. Grow. Super. Didn't play super with 16 health. And the last one is grow. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the khaki, you're really from, I thought you were from Israel. I just saw the khaki and I was like, yeah. That just means the, like, the poop in Israel. <laughs> in Hebrew. I figured that's, I figured it was so. McKay. Got to block lane one, dude. We got a couple of bonus decks. We're going to take this one. Oh, there's here. There are so many Israelis in the stream. You didn't have... What are they doing? <laughs> anyway, guys. 8-3. That's how it's done. Get blobbed. Get blobbed, son. Anyway, with teleports, this deck would even be better. This deck could really use teleports. Even for the Bad Moon Rise, you just to teleport little things in. You can always gain a, gain a brain that way. We got messed up a lot by relying too much on the eggs. Anyway, guys. That's how it's done. Hope you enjoyed it. 8-3. Over 80% win rate. Oh no wait, we were, oh, uh, not 8%, whatever, over 70%, 75%, whatever it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.